In this lecture, we'll discuss different cause of defect. There are two main focuses of this discussion. Normal causes of defect and environmental causes of defect. First, we will have a look into normal defect cause. The first is time pressure. If you are working in an environment where you are given very little time to complete your tasks, then it is possible that you will overlook certain things that may cause a defect. Second is human fallibility. As humans, we are all fallible, because fallible means likely to make errors or fail. Nobody's perfect after all. The second cause is inexperienced and insufficiently skilled people. If you work in an organization where there are people without sufficient knowledge of the product, then it may result in a defect. The third cause is miscommunication or misunderstanding. If your organization lacks proper channels of communication, this could also lead to defects. The fourth is the complexity of the code, design, and architecture. This means, even if you are an experienced, skilled person, if the code is complex, then you might end up making an error. The last cause is new, unfamiliar technologies. If you are working with a technology that you don't know well enough, then this can also result in a defect. So these were the defect causes. Now, let's move on to environmental causes. So the first cause is radiation. Proceeds of radiation can cause a defect. The next one is electromagnetic field. We all know how on flights we are asked to switch off our mobile phones. This is to avoid creating electromagnetic fields which can cause interference. The third one is pollution. So if there are dust particles on the sensor, it could result in an error. And similarly, there could be many other environmental causes.